Lance. Hey! What are you doing here? You don't sound so pleased. I'm not so pleased. Thanks, bro. Who was you expecting? What a greeting, man. Not you. Someone useful. So what am I? A handicap, huh? Your dumb ass, low life, no good brother? Something like that. Yeah, well, I'm not the one who got kicked out of the army. No, you're the asshole who got kicked out of the Boy Scouts. Oh, come on, man. I come all this way to see you and you treat me like I got herpes. Maybe that's because your whole life you've gotten us into trouble. Oh, give me a break, man. I've changed. Okay, I'll give you a chance. One chance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, come here, man. You won't regret it, baby. I love you, man. And love can change the world. But Vic... What? I have got herpes. Get off me, man. <laughs> just get in the damn car. <laughs> I'll just get... All the Cholos have been looking for you, Mr. Big Shot. What do you want with me? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. You kill plenty Cholos. Now we kill you plenty. And we work. Okay. Is this your idea of a welcome party? Come on, move it! Oh, wait, where the hell am I going, man? Let's take clothing I have to get to. Has someone got a light? Certainly. And my, those are very empowering cigarettes. Interesting name, by the way. Kind of manly. Not exactly gender specific. Hey, watch the room! Oh, shit! Panel of experts here to press. I'm just too pretty to die! <laughs> Woo! and have a large belly. Are you by any chance pregnant? Uh, yes, obviously. Do you have any friends in this town? Just a fat bitch. Typical patriarch. Hey, hey, okay, okay. We'll get them for there. You know, so my people, for really important. The text all went sterile from uh. UFOs. I read it in a book. Who is this guy? Yeah. Thank you, uh, Mr. Grace, for chiming in there. And goldfish live in three. Okay, as I was saying... Shit! They're everywhere! My 16th. Yeah. Good lord. And as my people say, the Grand Canyon is a very big place. And if you're going, please, take a flashlight. I, are you not worried about overpopulating? No, well, someone's gotta make sure we aren't overrun. Plus, I'm producing nothing but top quality offspring, Mo. Oh, please. Hey, 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 excuse me. It's more like screen, okay? No, I'm not a farmer. I'm trying to build a career here, eh? One more Lance fans chance! That's you know, prick! Cannot influence policy makers. You're never driving again. I had it with you, man. You put me off. You always treat me like a kid. Just cleaning the shit. Whoa! This train stops here. Another victim of gun crime. Yes, it will hurt you. Oh! Go fuck yourself. I'd appreciate a ride to my hotel.
Take another try of your Siggy Waverly. You know, you make me shiver. Like I shiver in the back, looking down at the Europe. And I say, man, that's a lot of men's hair. And I say, Boris, you are a fat You are massive. Yeah. Is it just me, or is it just this angle? What's she talking about? I'm my little Job done? But you know what? I'm drinking. The fat remains. They are the same thing. For the working man, too much work. For the fat cat, or in your case, very thin and sexless, nicotine-stained cat. Too many regulations. The working man wants spare time and spare money to indulge his hobbies, like strip clubs and alcoholism, while the fat cat wants increased profits to pay for divorces and having uncooperative spouses here. How do we use modern technology such as the enormous shoulder pad or the espadrille to make life better, eh? Not worse. Martin Grace, you work in the field of technology. What do you think? I think that the single most thing in the whole universe is the human spoon. Uh, apart from the Please, somebody shut him up. Yes, the human being. We have the power to save ourselves, and technology is the solution. In less than, than five years, manual labor will be entirely obsolete. I have no idea what you're saying. Go on. Um, in in vain day, I can't. Uh, I'll, I'll get a picture right. Uh, shops will be staffed by, by robots. robots. Uh, coal will be oh, mined by robots. Uh, dogs will be worked by robo- robotic cats. Even the human dogs themselves will be robots. Impressive. This place ain't cheap. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I told them to bill you. Yes, that's it's, right it's large. The economy. I wish I was a robot. God, that's atrocious. That is inhumane, sir. You're very narrow because you're from low income. 